Alrighty, okay, so I know my videos have stopped out of nowhere. I am doing some um, piecing together of something big before I talk to you guys about it, and I wanted to pause my information on a specific something um, before I collected um, myself and this information to piece together for you guys. But I have a construction update for you guys today, and this one's really juicy. And it's kind of gonna piece together what I'm already piecing together, um, but I just wanted to collect some final information about something really big that I stumbled upon um, before I share it. But nonetheless, as you see, this was filmed January 2nd. Hartwell is still going in and out of the mountain. Um, but over in Frontier Canada, um, some construction markings and tree removal markings have popped up. So here they are surrounding Timberwolf. Um, I fully expect these to move on into the Whitewater Canyon forest as well. Um, this is part of a really big project that Canada's Wonderland is working on. Um, so I'll have more information on that for you guys. Frontier Canada has a lot more to come. Um, and I'm really excited about those plans as well. Over at Front Gate, the Front Gate store has closed and they've started boxing up the merch in the Front Gate store, um, as you can see here. So I'm really excited about this Front Gate reno. Um, I am definitely piecing together something more bigger about this Front Gate reno that I'll talk about at the end of this video and a big announcement about Fast Lane at Canada's Wonderland. But um, as you can see there, survey markings on Extreme Skyflyer and a datum or demolition marking on the old Thunder Run station. Um, that would be sad to see. Um, and some survey markings on the fly and the bat. So definitely a lot of survey markings on the outer perimeter of um, Alpine. Um, but yeah, I filmed this because it was a little interesting over at Flight Deck. I shouldn't say I filmed it. Um, some of my little elf helpers. Um, but a big announcement is Carowinds was testing a new fast lane system with their new app um, this Winterfest. And uh, from what I am hearing out of Carowinds is employees is that the fast lane will be launched at all parks um, this spring. So their new fast lane and new app will be coming to Canada's Wonderland and all other Cedar Fair parks. So instead of um, it being able to reuse fast lanes like the teenagers were doing, you won't be able to do that anymore. You'll get a new fast lane with a barcode on it and it'll be a self scan that'll allow you into the rides. Um, so that is really good to hear. This will be a lot more convenient. And on top of that, single-use fast lanes will be preloaded on your season pass. So if you have the prestige pass, you'll just scan your prestige pass and it'll let you in as well. So really cool to hear that. And that aligns with a really big piece of information that I've been hearing that our front gate reno is going to be self-service. So... I'm hoping for something like Busch Gardens Williamsburg where you walk up to the machine, scan your season pass, and it'll print out everything you need. Um, or you buy a season pass, go to those machines, and it'll print out your season pass. Um, so I'm hoping that's what I'm hearing. Um, I'm sorry, I'm hoping that's what it is from what I'm hearing. And even the toll booths. I'm hearing that the toll booths might be self-service as well. Um, but again, take that with a huge grain of salt. These are all just rumors and rumblings until the park makes an announcement on that. I am working on getting some sort of information about Front Gate for you guys. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd share that. So Fastlane will be automated with Wonderland's new app um, that launches in spring. Um, so look forward to that. Anyways, hopefully this was a really juicy update for you guys. I'm sorry I don't have anything else to share with you. I know I promised a seven-part series, but sometimes when I start leaking things or start talking about things and get it too far ahead of myself, I have to slow myself down, connect some dots, um, and speak to certain people. And sometimes that involves even talking to Wonderland. Um, so yeah, definitely uh, just a slight pause and then um, there'll be more on that. But huge news is the podcast will be back either next Friday or the next week after that, just waiting on the final materials to arrive. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good one. Bye.